What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tech and Tactical. Uh, today I have something very special. Um, I've been talking about blade steels a lot lately uh, on the channel, and um, you know how I'm really kind of obsessed with M390. Um, and Blade HQ had a exclusive, I believe, M390 link. And as you guys might remember, the link is one of my kind of favorite inexpensive knives. Um, I've got the uh, regular one right here. You know, this is the inexpensive H uh, 420HC link. You know, with the regular like plastic or FRN handles and the inexpensive 420HC blade steel, although they do look very, very similar. Um, this one is 420HC and this one is M390. <laughs> so one of them is the least expensive, kind of crappiest steel I own, and the other one is the nicest, maybe arguably the nicest steel that I own. So, um... I want to, the first thing I want to do is I wanted to throw some specs at you like I always do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to compare these two uh, side by side. Because they are very, very similar. And, you know, one of them is 30 bucks and the other one's 80 bucks. And that leaves me to my next point, which is that $80 for M390 is, like, kind of crazy. It's really, really inexpensive. Um, you know, a lot of knives with M390 are up up closer to like $200 and this one's not even a hundred bucks. So that is just blew me away. And that's one of the reasons I pulled the trigger so quickly. So MSRP is 120, but these guys are selling on blade HQ for 80 bucks. Um, as far as specs go, overall length is going to be the same between these two, uh, between these two knives. Let me bring the ruler into the picture. So the overall length is going to be the same, obviously. You know, it's the same knife. They're 7.6 inches. Um, the blade length is 3.25 inches. The blade thickness is 0.11. It does have a little swedge there. The tapers in, obviously. So 0.11 at the blade stock, you know, the thick part. And then uh, Bowler M390 blade steel. I'm just completely blown away. There's the little M390 right there m390 cannot believe it i just immediately pulled the trigger when i saw that this was available uh drop point design uh, almost almost looks like reverse tanto but it is a drop point um hollow grind stone wash finish and it's kind of interesting so the stone wash finish looks almost identical very very similar as far as the blade finish goes. Um, what is it? Handle length, 4.4 inches. Handle thickness is 0.49, so it's almost exactly half an inch thick. Um, Construction is really almost the same. Obviously, this is a different handle material. Um, these are, I believe, aluminum handles, whereas this one is like a FRN or plastic handle. It does have that, like, traction in there which is kind of cool. So, um, okay, they're saying 4.7. I'm telling you, these things feel like they, they don't weigh the same. So let's go ahead and bring the, the um, scale into play here because these do not feel like they're the same weight. All right, we are zeroed out, and we are currently on grams. So I will change it so you guys can see. All right, so 121.1 grams. 4.27 ounces. So 4.27 on that one. And then on the M390, it is heavier. I thought it was heavy. It felt heavier. 
So it's about a half a half an um, ounce heavier. Um, you know, could be handle scales. I don't think it's the blade material. I don't think M390 weighs more than 420HC. I think it's all in the handle, you know, because this one is the aluminum handles, whereas this one is those uh, FRN or plastic. I keep saying FRN. I'm not sure. Um, I think that those are FRN, but, I mean, they could just be plastic. So, the, the, you know, the, the one on the bottom, the 420HC, is obviously a very inexpensive knife. Um, so, yeah, we, we did some, a few specs. So let's pull this guy out of the picture and get some close-ups of the new guy. So very close to perfectly centered as far as the blade. It does have that little flag there, which is cool. They're both actually made in America, believe it or not. But this one has the flag, I think. No, it's just got made in U.S. right there. Whereas this one has got the flag right on the handle. This one says Speed Safe USA on the blade. Oh, right, and Made in USA on the back. There's the rest of the uh, info on there. This one actually feels a little stiffer, and it is brand new, so it might, um, it might break in. But this one feels stiffer than the other. Um, and then there's your coverage for your liner lock. Very clean, very well done. Chamfered edges. Little bit of like, I guess you call it jimping on the sp on the back spacer. And it is a back spacer, so it's not standoffs. Um, if that's what you're into. Two. Um, screw pocket clip just like the other one it's literally the same it's the, I think it's exactly the same I mean the, even the backspacer feels the same you know so for 30 bucks for this one by the way I have another video on this channel of my buddy's house of blades exclusive link with s35 vn and um, I've get, I'm getting some pushback on that video. I've got, you know, it's the only video I've got dislike, a dislike on. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think that people didn't like that I said that the, um, I don't know that I'd pay 90 bucks for this because this one's only 30 and now here I am doing it. So, uh, or 80 bucks, whatever. Um, but the reason I pulled the trigger is really because M390 is my favorite steel and the link is one of my favorite designs ever. Um, even though it is a little on the smaller side for the kind of knives that I like. So uh, I pulled the trigger. You know, I mean, there, it's M390. You know what I mean? So uh, this one has already been sold to a friend uh, in order to fund this one. I actually ended up selling two knives. So you will not, unfortunately, you will not see this anymore on the channel. But it's okay because we've got one in M390 for the channel. Uh, I don't, you know, the maybe the one thing... I'm not, I don't love aluminum handles. This does feel very high quality, but I don't love aluminum handles. I kind of like something with a little bit more traction, like G10 or something along those lines. But we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Obviously, it's speed safe. Um, so it's got, it'll, I mean, this blade rockets out of that. It rockets out of that knife. So overall, uh, I love this knife so far. Uh, obviously, I just got it, but I've had the previous model. So uh, please like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I have a video on this channel for this regular link, and I also have a video on this channel for my buddy's House of, House of Blades exclusive. Um, so go back, check them out, um, and thanks for coming.